Hey guys, Zach here, coming at you with another video. So today, we are going to be talking about Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated some more, and we're going to be talking about some things that I think they could improve with the game. Now, of course, everyone's sending in their submissions to their Purple Lamp Studios website. Obviously, Shift mentioned that, that they are still actively developing the game, still working on it, and of course, putting on the final touches before they release the game. So, this is where I'm going to say what I think they can do to make Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated even better and kind of perfect the little things that bother me. So, without any further ado, guys, let's get started. <laughs> So the first thing I really want to take note of is something I mentioned in yesterday's video. Actually, the first two things are going to be things I mentioned in yesterday's video. Um, the first thing I really want to talk about is the Tartar robot. I think the Tartar robot could be a little bit better. There's something about it that just doesn't strike a chord with me. Given that you always see the robot from the front, it's kind of weird that they decided to put the label for the Tartar bottle on the back of the robot. So I really hope and I kind of want them to move the label from the back of the robot to the front of the robot. Now this is such a weird thing, I know this is such like a, like a nitpicky small little detail, but it's little details like that that can give the robot a little more character. Like I don't know, this seems weird having like I said the label on the back of the bottle, it just, it just doesn't sit right with me. So I really hope that uh, Purple Lamp Studios looks at that and addresses it. That's something I actually mentioned to them in my email to them, or my... the requests to them. Secondly, I've talked quite a bit about the timer issue. There's something about the timer being in that specific position in that small a font on the screen that I'm not a huge fan of. In the original game, it was in big text in a box on the side, making it very plain and visible for everyone to see. There's something about how it's done here that just doesn't work for me. Like, I don't know. I, I've said this multiple times before, but I think it would work out better if they made the text bigger um, and put it at the top of the screen. I think that just makes more sense rather than, you know, limiting it to this smaller text in the center of the screen, especially since the, the colors are very, um, um, what's the word? Very, uh, basic in it. So, like, maybe you could blend in with a background. I just think it'd be much better if they made the text stand out more. Um, so, yeah, I really hope that that's something they take into consideration. I have a feeling that everyone who stuck with me through the Luigi Mansion 3 hype is going to roll their eyes when I say this one, but I think some of the uh, spookier levels are a bit too bright. Particularly, I noticed this with, uh, with uh, Kelp Forest. Like, it looks great, and you know what? I'm happy they addressed the fact that the, that Kelp Forest way too dark, way too uh, dreary. It just didn't look that great, but I really wish they didn't I don't know, like, it's supposed to be nighttime in this forest place, and almost same with Rock Bottom. Rock Bottom doesn't look as bad, but I don't know, I just wish they made it a little bit darker, a little bit spookier. I mean, maybe not spookier, but, like, just darker. Like, just lower the lighting a little bit. I don't know, maybe I'll have to lower the lighting, like, from my, uh, switch to, you know, get the mood the way I want it to. Um, but, yeah, that's just, that's just a couple other things. Like, just, I don't know. I mean, all the other levels are fine. Like Jellyfish Fields, School Lagoon, Downtown Bikini Bottom, the lighting of those levels are perfectly fine. But it's for levels like Rock Bottom, Kelp Forest, Flying Duckman's Graveyard. I just wish it was a little bit darker. Next up is the camera. Now the camera itself seems fine, but it seems really far back in a lot of instances. Like, you know, like when you're platforming. Because like I know the levels are big, so you want like a more broad view. But I don't know, it just seems a little bit farther away. Maybe they'll have an option so that you can zoom the camera in or do something like that. But yeah, it's definitely very zoomed out, and I don't know, I just want it a little bit closer to Spongebob. Maybe, like I said, maybe this is just something we haven't seen yet. Um, maybe they're holding that back from us. And this is also particularly a thing for me with the Horde multiplayer. Like, you know, it's very far back. I don't know, I just think it would be cool if, like, especially if you're playing online and not local, if you're playing online to really have a main focus on your character. You know, kind of like any other online multiplayer game. Like, you know, I guess... Like, Fortnite is a good comparison, right? It's like a third-person view, and you're, like, right behind your character, and everyone else is right behind theirs. That kind of thing. I don't know what it is. Again, this is another thing I've mentioned before. I don't know what it is, but something about Patrick's boss fight almost doesn't look correct to me. I don't know. They're just... Uh, I want them, A, to make it a little bit darker in there, because you're, you're in this underground, industrialized area, so I think they should be a little bit darker. But other than that, there should be, I, I, I feel like there's something there that is just missing from the original game. A lot of people are saying that, you know, the Robot Sandy boss fight doesn't look great, or the Robot Spongebob boss fight doesn't look great. I think those look perfectly fine, but it's Robot Patrick that just something doesn't sit right with me about. 
and I really hope that they can address it before the game comes out. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Like, that's just, it, it, again, small things. I, I mean, all of these are small things. Like, there's nothing here that's like, I will hate the game if none of these happen. But, yeah, like, that's another thing. This is something I mentioned in the video I uploaded that analyzed the last little trailer we got uh, just, just the other day. Um, the buttons. Now, this is something I actually think Shift agreed with um, when he went and talked to THQ, Nor or to, uh, sorry, Purple Lamp when he flew out there. But the, they changed the, the button symbols um, to represent what you should use to hit the button with. So there's a bowling pin if they want you to use the bubble bowl. There's like a little uh, sight or reticle if they want you to use the cruise bubble. And then there's a hand if they want you to hit the, ob or hit the button or throw something at the button. It doesn't really affect me, obviously, but I feel like it's, like some in some levels, like it, it was really interesting trying to see like what you're supposed to do with the buttons and how you're supposed to hit the buttons. Like, you know, like, and it, I feel like it kind of just tells you, it gives you the answer of how you're supposed to use the buttons. Maybe it's so that it's less confusing for kids, but I played this game as a kid and I had no problem working the buttons, you know? Maybe kids today are stupider or something, I don't know. I said stupider, I don't even think that's a word. More stupid? I just co totally proved that I am myself stupid. But no, I just, I don't know, like just, I think that they shouldn't have made that change. Like, like it's one of those almost pointless changes. So it's like, why did you change it? And then again, since it's pointless, like why do I care that much? But I just think it takes it takes away from people who are playing the game for the first time. Like trying to figure, you can't always hit the button the same way. So you gotta use your moveset to figure out how to hit the button. I don't know, it's, it just takes something away from me doing that. And lastly, I'm going to talk about the cruise bubble a little bit. I think it's weird that they're putting the cruise bubble in, in uh, third person rather than first person. Uh, I mean, it's cool that you get to see the cruise bubble in action. You get to see it going. It, it's pretty cool because you usually never saw it, you know, before, obviously, because it was in first person. But I don't know. It, it, I feel like I don't I don't know how much that would impact, like, how it controls or how it um, moves, because obviously it's going to be slower since they extended the timer. So I really wonder, like, is it going to mess up anything? Like, is it going to mess up how you're flying it or how the aiming works? Like, I know they have a reticle, but I don't know. I'm kind of nervous for the cruise bubble. Cruise bubble was my favorite move in Battle for Bikini Bottom. So it's really hard, you know, just looking at these, uh, you know, the new changes that they did to it. And I don't know. We'll have to wait and see a bit on that. I guess just all a matter of what will I think when I play it. And I mean, I'm still super stoked for this game. All these little issues, I think maybe had like seven or eight or nine or whatever, but all of them were so small and insignificant. Like here's the thing with Luigi's Mansion, there were a lot of small problems that added up, but these problems are so small and so insignificant that they don't really add up. So it does not take away from my excitement from the game at all. I am still very excited for Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. I know all of you guys are very excited for Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. And obviously there will be more Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. I said that way too much uh, videos in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, like, comment, subscribe. Check out the merch store and hit the little notification bell so that you're notified of when I upload. I said that in the wrong order, but oh well. Let me know what you guys think. Later.